So the debate that we have on our show this evening, has Ronaldo surpassed Messi now as the best player of this generation? I have with me Novi Kapatia and Scott O'Donnell. Novi thinks yes he has, Scott thinks he hasn't yet. I'll give you gentlemen 30 seconds each to put forward your arguments. Uh, Novi to you first, why do you think he surpassed Messi now? I think the world is divided. The half the world is a Lionel Messi fan. All football fans are divided and half are Cristiano Ronaldo. And there was always this, you know, the albatross round their necks that they never really did well for their countries. So Cristiano Ronaldo has crossed the divide. You know, he's got over the hump. I mean, he's literally taken Portugal to the final. Even though he played 15 minutes, he was inspirational outside. So I think just that mental toughness, that edge, as quality players, they are roughly the same. But that mental toughness, well, football is much more than, you know, Maradona was a street fighter. That's how he helped Argentina okay. win that World okay. Cup. So I think that's where Cristiano Ronaldo has gone a step ahead of Lionel Messi. Okay, before we get into the arguments, 30 seconds to you. Scott, why yeah, do you yeah, think I'm no? Well, I just think one game, I mean, which he didn't contribute too much, why should that make a difference? I think they're both world-class players, don't get me wrong, and their stats add up. For me, um, the best thing about Messi is I think he's more of a team player. He, has, he provides more assists for his teammates. Ronaldo will never pass the ball if he thinks he can score. He'll always back himself, which is a great thing from a striker's point of view. I just don't, I actually find it pointless trying to compare the two. Um, they're both quality players, but if I was a coach and I had to choose between one or the other, I would pick Messi any day. Okay, that should be the definite way of looking at it. Uh, if you were the coach, who would you pick? Novi, since you think uh, Ronaldo has surpassed Messi, who would you pick if you were coach between Ronaldo and Messi? And that should answer our question. Uh, well, I don't know if I wanted a striker, probably Cristiano Ronaldo, because okay. nobody can head like him. I mean, I think after Pele, he's the finest header of the ball, leaving aside a few English players like Alan Shearer. You know, the way he can rise majestically and head. And I think this tournament, he has shown greater maturity. He's more of a team man. I agree with Scott. Earlier, he was very individualistic. Okay. In this tournament, he's more of a team man. He's matured with age. And, uh, you know, realize he can't do it all on his own. Has made the team play. Uh, Messi seems to, you know, get... Uh, very emotionally involved and I think that's troubling him also. Okay, Maybe it's something to do with Argentina over-dependent on Messi. Portugal okay. said we'll do it for Ronaldo. Okay, let's now take one step at a time uh, and let's look at different parameters to judge the two players. The first you said mentally stronger. He says that Ronaldo is mentally stronger than Messi. Uh, he says that. Would you agree? Um, not necessarily, no. I think, well, to get where they are, both players have to be, have that yeah. mental um, strength. But I just think um, Ronaldo sometimes gets, lets his emotions get in the way of how he plays. Messi gets kicked, he gets up, he doesn't fight, he doesn't argue with the referee, he doesn't argue with his coaches. He just gets on and does the job. Um, without having seen them close up, it's difficult to say who's... Um, who's the mentally toughest. But for me, um, one of the reasons why I think uh, a lot of people like Messi is, is his demeanour. He's very cool and he's calm. You don't really see him get agitated at all. Whereas sometimes I think Ronaldo is, lets his emotions get in the way of his performances. Okay. Uh, Novi, you said at the start of the discussion and when we asked you the question, if you were coach, who would you pick? You said, I'll go with Ronaldo if I needed a striker to score goals. I'm just looking at the overall goals up until now. Now, while Ronaldo leads Messi, also because Ronaldo has a head start compared to Messi, he started yeah. earlier. If I was to look at goals per match and we've got that, Messi, and this is just pure goal scoring, is ahead of Ronaldo. And so we're not even getting into Messi, the all-round player or the contributor. Just in pure goal scoring, he's ahead of Ronaldo. Overall goals. Yes, he, he would be because also Barcelona is the most dominant team the world has ever, probably club okay. football has ever seen. And especially that period. I mean, they were magical. I loved watching Barcelona. I'd wake up any time in the night to watch them in that period 2009 to 2012. And he had a fantastic team. I mean, Messi, no doubt, Ronaldo's also played in top-class teams. Uh, but uh, I just think that Cristiano, it's very close. There's, you know, it's a shadow line between them. Okay. Cristiano, Ronaldo, uh, both do magical things. But he just maybe has even a little more power than Messi. Okay, he says... Uh, because Messi has got a better goal scoring per match is because he played for a team like Barcelona, surrounded by very good players. Valid argument? Um, no, because uh, well, with due respect to Novi, I think <laughs> Ronaldo has never played in any weak teams. Correct. Um, he's Correct. playing yeah. for Real Madrid. They've, I mean, they've, and they've what, seven Ballon d'Ors between them. Um, four for Messi, three for Ronaldo. I have to put that in. Um, <laughs> but I, I just think, and people probably think I'm um, stupid saying this, but I think 
obviously they Portugal lost out when Ronaldo went off after 15 minutes or whatever from an attacking point of view for, but from a defensive point of view they benefited mm -hmm. they then had 10 players who were going to work Whoa, and get okay. behind the ball Ronaldo is not known for his defensive I'm capabilities I'm going to warn you now you've hit below the belt as far as Ronaldo <laughs> fans are concerned you said that when he went out at that stage they actually benefited Novi you want to reply to that he says they actually benefited <laughs> in the final at least defensively and, and the fact that when Carismo came on, then Sanchez went into the middle of the park and all of a sudden Sanchez came alive, yeah. um, he, which he was, he was kind of a, okay. a loner out there on the right-hand okay. side. We'll, we'll let Novi answer that. Uh, that Portugal actually benefited. They won the trophy because Ronaldo got injured is what's passed. Mentally, they became tougher, I think. And I give credit to Pepe for that, that he took over the role as the leader. Mm -hmm. And they sort of said, we'll, you know, we'll win it for the country mm -hmm. and for Cristiano Ronaldo. They probably felt a bit you know, uh, harshly done. There was, there's that sneaking feeling we've been reading in the Portuguese press that Dimitri Pai went for Ronaldo. Hmm? And an English it referee... it looked very innocuous. If it you did look there. innocuous. And the English referees do allow a bit of body play. That somewhere else, he, he would have been, you know, really, okay. maybe even got a red card. So, uh, there, w there was that. They became, I think, more determined. But then, let's give Cristiano Ronaldo credit. As a captain, he's instilled that feeling in them. He's matured from 2004 to 2016. Okay. You say better leader as a captain, better leader than Messi? Another, another point. Inspires on, his on team more the field, than Messi. I wouldn't say no. I think both of them lead by example on the field. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say Messi's a leader um, in his actions and, and his encouragement of the players. No, he leads by example. And I think Ronaldo does a similar thing. We saw Ronaldo off the field when he was acting as the assistant manager. Um, that's when we saw him leading by example and showing that emotion. Normally he does it on the field with his actions. Right. But um, he, he was definitely passionate and you could see how, how desperate he was for the team to win on the sidelines. Okay, uh, final question and I'd like uh, both of you to answer that. The one big difference between the two is that one international title. Now we've got one each mark to both of them. We've got the graphic up on the screen because we've given a 2008 Olympic gold to Messi as a major international title. Of course, remember under 23 players play there but three senior players are allowed. Does that count as a big international title for Messi? Yes, no. <laughs> if I'm arguing for Messi, yes. And don't forget the Under-20 World Cup as well. That's a big tournament. Okay, okay. We've got Would to you give count him that? that? You'd count that? I'll count anything. <laughs> no, but okay. I mean, they've, they've all won big trophies. Okay, Novi, what about you? Now, the intensity of the European Championship is just after the World Cup. No, Olympics is great. I mean, and also Brazil under Brazil has never won. Someone should ask Brazil. Brazil has never won Olympics that. Olympics Brazil has never won the Olympics. That is. That's yeah. why they kept Neymar out of Copa Centenario and are keeping him for the Olympics. Yeah. I think we should enjoy both of them. You know, we are okay. just lucky that two of these great players are playing at the same time. And I think one thing certain is Cristiano Ronaldo is now getting the Ballon d'Or for 2016. After yeah. winning, the even Champions only 15 League. minutes. Yeah. European Championship and okay. the Champions League. So he's almost caught up with Messi. That'll be 5-4.